Hi, Bob the Canadian here. In this video, we're going to look at six things that you should be doing every day to help improve your English. Learning English takes time and practice. Here are six things that you should be doing every day to help improve your English. Number one, you should be reading. I highly recommend that you read the news, especially because you may already be familiar with what is happening in the world in your own language. And this allows you to make a connection when you read the news in English. You should also be reading a good book. You may want to start at kids' books, work your way up to young adult fiction, and then work your way up to everyday fiction. It also helps if you read slightly above your level. You don't want to read too far above your level as this becomes too difficult. You should also try to read books that are based on movies that you have already watched, either in your normal language or in English. And last of all, and this is the hardest one, you should always read everything at least two or three times. I recommend that you read it two times right away, especially if it's a short news article, and then read it again later in the day or the next day. The second thing that you should be doing is listening. You should definitely listen to the news. Having already read the news in English, listening to the news in English will cover the same stories and allow you to reinforce what you have learned in your reading. You should also definitely be listening to music. Music is catchy and it's fun to listen to and it has the added advantage of you like listening to it more than one time. So if you listen to a good song a number of times, you start to learn the words in the song. I also recommend that you watch at least one short English TV show every day. I find TV shows better than movies because you get to know the characters and their particular way of saying those words. And lastly, the same as with reading, you should try and listen to things more than once. When you're watching a YouTube video or another video, be sure to rewind and re-listen to parts that you've missed. The third thing you should be doing every day is writing. You should be writing at least three or four sentences every day in English. You should also be using some sort of online spell checker and grammar checker. But writing only goes so far by itself. You should really think about joining an online English learning group, either on Facebook or another website, so that other people are reading what you have written. This also helps to turn writing into more of a conversation where you're encouraged to answer questions that other people ask. The fourth thing you should be doing is speaking. You should be speaking to help improve your pronunciation. You should find recordings where people demonstrate how to pronounce something, and then you should repeat the words after them. You should also start to talk to yourself. And I know this sounds a little bit funny, but if you have an opportunity when you are driving in a car by yourself or when you just have some time to yourself, you should try to have a pretend conversation with yourself. This really helps to start to bring the vocabulary and other things you have learned to the forefront of your mind. You should also try to record yourself speaking and then listen to it again later. If you record yourself speaking English and then listen to it later, your ear can hear some of the mistakes that you have made and you can correct them later. The fifth thing you should be doing every day is vocabulary building. You should set a goal for how many English words you want to learn in a year and then divide that by the number of days in the year. If you were to learn three new words in English every day, you would learn over 1,000 words in a year. And although this isn't enough to become fluent, learning 1,000 words outside of your reading, listening, 
and other practice is just a really good idea to help build a solid vocabulary foundation. The sixth thing you should be doing is having an English conversation. This can be one of the hardest parts about learning English, but you need to find a native English speaker that you can have a short conversation with every day. If you can't find someone to talk to every day, at least find someone that you can talk to once a week. If there's no native English speakers in your area, try to look at websites like italki or Preply to find someone who you can pay via Skype to have an English conversation. You can find people at very reasonable rates. If cost is a problem, another option is to try and find someone who wants to learn your language. Meet with them via Skype or in a cafe, spend 15 minutes speaking your language, and then spend 15 minutes learning English with them. This is a great way to learn English at no cost. Well, that's a number of ways that you can practice English every day. If you do all six of these and make a real effort, after a few months, your progress in English will be incredible. Bob the Canadian here. Learn English with Bob the Canadian. I certainly hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe below. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.